Welcome to Translate 5. In this instructional video, we want to familiarize you with the functions of the editor, which we are currently navigating. First, let's get familiar with the interface. In the segment list, you can resize and move the headers as you wish. In addition, you can use this button in any column header to set various column options. This allows you to sort the selected column in ascending or descending order or to filter it according to specific criteria using the filter options. The Columns tab allows you to display or remove additional columns. With this button, you reset the sorting and filtering of the grid. If you want to close the panels at the sides and bottom to get a better overview of your segments, you can do so by using the arrows on the respective panel. Another click opens the panel again. On the left-hand side, you will find various options for the view. Here, you can switch between different views or reset them. Depending on your preference, you can choose a detailed or simplified view. With these two buttons, you can increase or decrease the segment font size. Double-click on the source or target text to open a segment for editing. Here, you can insert a translation or use the results suggested below. You can insert results with a double-click or by using a keyboard shortcut. Proposals will come from the language resources allocated to the task. The tooltip shows you the language resource your result originates from. This button takes you to the concordance search. Here, you can search all language resources assigned to the task, as long as they are of the type Translation Memory or Terminology. On the right-hand side, you will find the interface for segment editing. Worth mentioning here are the buttons to continue editing. With just one click, you can, for example, save your current segment and jump to the next editable segment. You can save segments to the bookmark list while editing them using this button. This button takes you to the bookmark list, where all the stored segments are displayed. If you move your mouse over each button, its function is explained and the keyboard shortcut is displayed. Alternatively, this button opens a new window listing all the shortcuts available in the editor. A useful feature to navigate an open segment is the ability to scroll through, filter and sort the segment list. This allows you to compare two segments effortlessly. Once you have edited and saved the segment, you can view the Track Changes function by mousing over the edited segment. Here, you can see the date and time, as well as the user who edited the segment. Each user receives an individual color. However, this function can only be viewed in the Review Workflow steps. Using the Preferences button, you can adjust the behavior of the Repetition Editor. The Repetition Editor offers you the option to automatically replace segments with similar content after saving. To notify you of eventual errors, certain phrases or words will either be highlighted or underlined in color. If the word is highlighted in red, it is a spelling, grammar or style error. With a right click, you will be shown correction suggestions. Words that have been read underlined in the source text are words that exist in the target language but are not included in the target text. If the word is blue underlined, then an associated term exists in the terminology. A word underlined in brown is only present in the terminology of the source language, but not in the target language. Should the word be highlighted in purple, it is a misnomer and its use is not recommended. If you notice grey characters in the source or target text, you see internal tags. Tags are snippets of program code contained in the text, for example links or bold print. You can show or hide them using the view button or display them completely. You can see the progress of the workflow in the selected segment via the header for the processing status and the symbol displayed. You can filter after certain symbols to obtain an overview of the progress. The meaning of the individual symbols is also displayed here. Using the search window, you can search for specific terms. Using the Replace tab, you can search but also perform replacements at the same time. On the right-hand side, you will find a variety of segment metadata. Here, you can assign a manual status or quality ratings to the segment, 
that were previously stored in the configuration. You can also add and view comments. Last but not least, we will take a look at the file tree, which you can find here. Here, you can see all files that are available in this task. With a double click, you can jump to the beginning of the selected file. The arrangement of the files can also be adjusted by drag and drop. This changes the order of the segments in the segment list. In the case of nested folder structures, the folder that contains your file in the export is also changed. If you have any further questions, please visit the Translate 5 website via www.translate5.net or contact us via service at translate5.net. Have fun using the editor.